But let's find out how things are shaping up when it comes to Zentech. Let's talk about the launches in the pipeline, the R&D spends, and what the outlook is when it comes to the order book. Ashok uh, Atluri is the CMD now joining in. Thanks so much for taking time out. And given that we've seen a lot of increased geopolitical tensions, I just want to understand what the demand trends are looking like, especially when it comes to def the defense segment for drones. So uh, thank you for having me here. So the demand for uh, um, the drones is actually uh, uh, increasing uh, a lot. And uh, but you know, remember, we, we are part of the drone ecosystem, and we provide anti-drone systems for to the government and uh, foreign friendly for foreign governments. So we think that the threat of drones is becoming very real. The drone has become the mainstay for the uh, the weapons in the armed forces. And all the guard, all the armed forces need to protect against drone attacks, and that's where Zen comes in, and we provide the drone safety. I think uh, it's it's a, a lot of demand is there, and we are trying to aggressively scale up to meet the demand, both from Indian government and the foreign governments. Yes. So tell me, what are the timelines for some of these products that you've launched currently, Ashok? So yeah, so we are uh, we have indicated that we would be launching some more products. I, so primarily, they will be enhancements of the existing product line that we have, and uh, they'll be adding value to the existing product line. And the second would be, uh, you know, if there is independent use of those products in addition to being part of the anti-drone system uh, uh, eco uh, ecosystem and uh, simulators, you definitely also look at uh, launching them independently. So this, uh, this, and the timeline is, you know, in the next in the next eighteen months, we see we uh, hope to see some launches. So next 18 months, you're expecting to see some launches and uh, this anti-drone segment that you're talking about, what is the revenue potential here then that one could be expecting in the next one to two years? I have already have an order book position for the anti-drone system that's about 600 crores. And uh, there is an order book position for simulators which is around 800 crores. So again, what I'm saying is the enhancements will be launched as we keep going ahead, you know, we maybe a little sooner. But the enhancement will keep happening. So that those launch, the enhancement launches will happen uh, as we go ahead. But yeah, the order book position is about 600 and 800. And we are expecting, last year we did about 430 crores. This year we are expecting the turnover to be around 900 crores, uh, uh, approximately 100% growth this year. So 100% growth this year, Ashok. And uh, this is a growth rate that one could see going forward, even FI26. How big is the potential here? So the, in terms of potential, you know, again, we have said that uh, while 100 percent this year, we have said that uh, for the next uh, three years, it will be only 50 percent CAGR. Uh, so that growth is th that much. But the market size is very huge. I mean, I, I think that uh, we may be catering to maybe five or 10 percent of the whole market that is there because this uh, the threat is not only with the armed forces. Now, you know, borders, airports, VIP installations. Uh, railway, you know, railways, you just name it. Any, anything is a fair target for, you know, bad elements in the, in the, in the society. So we really need to protect these, you know, VIP, even VIP, even the large gatherings that may be happening, you know, there's a chances of attack. So this anti drone system is a huge market. And, you know, we have said that it would be about, you know, 10,000 crores, but I think it's a very gross underestimate. For simulators, we have said it's 15,000 crores. Again, you know, we think that uh, it's on the lower side. But, you know, two things that have become very, very critical for any war now is preparedness. You need training and you need to be prepared. Otherwise, people even with hand gliders can come and occupy your country. And the second is the anti-drone system, which we see in Azerbaijan and in Ukraine war. They are being, uh, the sorry, the drones are attacking uh, like anybody's business and destroying value, symmetrically damaging value that are 100x more than the cost of the drone being destroyed. So that's one side of it, right? Uh, Ashok, the scope and size of the addressable market. But what about uh, the spends that you'd have to make on increasing R&D for your company? So, you know, very frankly, we are one of the companies that have all Always been doing R and D, and we have uh, self-funding our R and D. You know, a lot of companies take the funding from outside to do the R and D. So we have been self-funding our R and D, and globally we have almost 160 patents filed till date, and almost more than 70 have been granted. So these are Indian and global patents put together. So R and D spend that has happened in the past is you know a little you know we spent about 85 crores in the last five years, but we expect that to increase now 
So we have uh, scheduled about 40 crores to be spent during the current year approximately. But again, these are very opportunistic spending. You know, we get the opportunity, we spend. This cannot be scheduled and planned as much as we would like to be. So they have to be a little aggressive. And when you see opportunity, especially in the field like defense, where things are changing by the day, so we will be spending. But you know, the scheduled spending is 40 crores. But again, the main thing is, it's not the manufacturing that captures value. It is the IP ownership that captures value. And we are very aware of the fact. And we focus on creating our own IP resident in India, owned by Indian companies. So we think that, and that's, that's the category, the IDDM category, which the government says, if you if there is even one company under IDDM category, government wants to buy from that company. So there is a lot of focus in the, in the, in the defense companies that they should create their own product ground up rather than just importing something and doing that uh, you know, manufacturing here. Okay, and what about your growth plans for exports going forward? You've been very bullish on the export market. So um, I understand that the game plan over the next two years as well here is looking optimistic. The domestic growth rate is we think going to be fantastic. You know, I said that the, what is going to happen in the next five years will dwarf, dwarf the past 10 years. It's going to be a big thing domestically. You know, even in terms of export, we see that the whole, when the, the you know, Ukraine-Russia war happened, everybody saw that, you know, Ukraine is being given the world's most advanced equipment, but Russia with its old equipment is still has an upper hand in the war. Why is that happened? It's clear to everyone now. You, it doesn't matter what equipment you have unless you are trained on that. So the foreign companies also have started, so, you know, earlier they used to say we want to buy the latest equipment. Now they are saying that training is becoming very important. And so we are getting a lot of inquiries from, uh, you know, existing companies that, you know, please help us set up the training centers in, in our respective countries. And second is, again, the shift in uh, Armenia war or Ukraine. We saw the shift from the regular, you know, warfare to drone-based warfare. So a lot of people are even asking, you know, the, for the anti-drone system. So we are actually in a very sweet spot that the two things that we do are in the most demand in the world, uh, in the export market. So we do export in very specific terms. We think export market will also grow at at least this 100 plus 50% uh, CAGR growth that I've talk, talked about domestic uh, market. Ashok, great to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for taking the time out and giving us an in-depth analysis on, you know, where the sector is headed and, of course, you know, um, what the path for your company is going to be in that. Thank you. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.